Hello YouTubers and welcome back to another video here on the FSX Global channel and this video we're going to be doing another full flight video because I know it's been a while since I've done a full flight video or an ap actually an FSX video so in this video we're going to be taking a Ryanair 737-800 from Manchester to Beauvais which is just north of Paris um, the last full flight video I did was an easy jet from Liverpool to Stuttgart and it wasn't the best, the editing was pretty bad and the microphone was bad but hopefully uh, this video should be a lot more uh, controlled so I'll be able to um, edit it much better so I am using FS root finder for the root and um, yeah so we're, just, we're, um, we're on ground power we've not actually started up all the aircraft yet so this is from PMDG, I'm using the UK2000 uh, scenery. So we got the doors open and we'll head inside the okay, cockpit Okay, so now. we're inside the cockpit now and we're just going to go through all the checks again. So we're going to turn the battery on. So we actually have power and go on to ground power. And uh, we'll turn the major checks it's on. Fuel, uh, your damper can stay off. We can align the IRSs. We're on ground power. They can all go on. All of them can go on. No smoking and seatbelt sign can go on. Uh, Aircon. And all the exterior lights are fine for the moment and your damper can go on now. So, we're all set up. This is uh, Ryanair 39 Romeo November. That's the call sign. But we're not using AC on this flight. So, we can stick auto brake. We can just go through a couple of checks. Check the oxygen on both sides. Engine 1, APU, Engine 2, Fire Warning, Tests, Cargo. And then we can just check, check all the lights. Um, we haven't selected any failures, so there won't be any at the moment. So now we're going to go into the FMC and pre-plan everything. So fuel, we'll probably only need about, probably about one third of the tank. Payload, we can set to random and push back. You sort of have to guess on these, but we want to go left, 90 degrees. Uh, that's all really okay. We're at Echo Golf Charlie Charlie Manchester, and we're at gate 56. And we can align them. Um, Beauvais is Lima Foxtrot Oscar Bravo, and we are right there. Find a Y, Ryan at 3, 9, Romeo, November. Take off runway 2, 3, right, which is just behind us to the right. Um, 2, 3, right via the Honley 1, Romeo departure. Then we're going to UN 615 to Mike, India Delta, UL 151. to CTET, Sierra India Tango Echo Tango, and then UN859 to DVL. There we go, and we'll just uh, plan the arrival now. I know we usually do it in cruise, but we want the ILS from with 12, and we want the DVL6 Tango arrival. Check for any root discos. There we go. And we can just go ahead and check our route on the flight plan. So we can move it up to there so we have a standard departure. And there we go, into runway 12. We can activate that. Init ref page, cost index is 6, cruise altitude is 33,000 feet, transition altitude is 6,000 feet, and the reserves. 4.5 so we could probably go to the fuel now and lower that because we don't need that much so we'll probably go to 5,000 so about 2.6 there we go and we can activate that uh, take off 1 D rate and climb 1 take off flaps 5 trim 5 2 3 should round about there there we go and our speeds that's 143 there we go so that is the FMC quickly done 
and we can just go ahead and set up our ND now. Um, no traffic on as well. Don't bother with that. Set it up on the first officer side as well. And the MCP. So our takeoff is 143 plus 20 plus 163. Uh, 235 is the runway heading. And we can set this to 18,000. Course can be 230. There we go, so we set up all the MCP now. That's all done, so we, we can uh, clear the ground power in a minute. So we just need to set up the APU and then we'll. Uh, okay, so we're departure. almost ready for departure now. Uh, the APU is running up, and if you seriously do not have a clue what I'm going on about about all this, on my channel there is a lesson series. Um, they're still continuing now, and there is a full tutorial flight um, where I explain everything that I'm doing. But as this is just a full flight, we just do it, do it without explaining. Um, so yeah, do go and check out that the APU starting up. That's good. There we go. So we can get rid of the ground power now and turn all the fuel pumps on. So ground power and we can set the parking brake, remove the chocks. And we can put this on the progress page. Um, for pushback, turn the left hydraulic pumps off. And the aircon can go off as well. This can set to 33,000 feet to our cruise. And we'll set that in the uh, cruise. Anti-collision light can go on, or beacon light. And we are ready for pushback. So we can close the doors now. Everyone's on board, hopefully. So there go the air stairs and the, um, the front door. So we're going to push back here. So we'll have uh, we'll turn this way and then we'll head over up there and then past the um, Robinsons in, which is quite a good spotting place. And then two feet right is just there. Okay, so there we go. There's the doors closed. The beacon lights on, so we can start our pushback. Just double check everything's okay. There we go. And pushback. Et left 90 let's go and, uh, so the captain's going to talk to the ground staff now right, we're all set to go up here we've been cleared to push and start at your discretion Roger there, ready for push power and air clear doors closed we are ready for push back release parking brake please release the parking brake and on push we can start engine okay, number two parking brake is off clear to push There we go. Start engine number two. So we're looking for 25% here. And fuel in. There we go. We should start the turn in a minute. No pushback vehicle. Good old default. Default add-ons there. GSX is probably the best one. It actually gets you on the line where you want to be. It's like we're not going to be far off there. And start engine one. So we're just off the line there, but it doesn't really matter.
There we go. So we can put this back on the progress page. Let's click on the legs page. All the appropriate lights can go on. APU can go off. Transfer the electrics. Hydraulics can go on. Aircon can come back on. And we can go with flaps 5. Trim is set. Uh, I set the transponder to 2000, which is the um, mandatory for UK. But we're not in ATC, so it doesn't really matter. But I like to just set it. Get get into the habit. And there we go. So we can release the parking brake and taxi to two three right. Let's turn all the landing lights on, strobes can go on and the wing lights can go on. We can arm the autothrottle and VNAV and LNAV, wave at all the people and whatever people are there. It's pretty empty to me. Um, make our turn here, we'll keep it rolling, because there's no need to stop. Oh, going on the grass bit there. The transponder can go to TA and RA. So line my view. And we can start the clock. And 40%. Speed alive. 80 knots. Lift the uh, yoke up a tiny bit at 100 knots. V1, Rotate. V2. Pulse the right gear up. Just put my. Thousand feet now. Pitch up a little bit more, following the flight director. A cloud in the sky. And then we're at diesel altitude now, so I'll just lower the nose to 10 degrees. And we can stick the autopilot on. And flaps can go to 1. Flaps can go up. There we go. Uh, runway turn flights can go off and these can go back to normal. So we're just about to start our left turn now. About two miles. And then at this point we do the after takeoff checklist. This can bug up now to 33,000 feet. And from here on then it's just climb up to our cruise altitude, turn the landing lines off, seatbelt signs and away we go to France. So I'll probably skip the video here to the cruise and we'll set up for the approach and landing.
Okay, so we're about eight miles away from top descent now. We've just had a warning saying reset our MCP altitude, which we are to 6,000 feet. All the way down. There we go. And we'll just quickly um, prepare for the arrival. So it's the ILS 12 approach. Uh, course of 124. Set that in both of these. And then the frequency is 1.15. 1 .1 5. There we go. There we go. So we should automatically start the descent any minute now. And we're looking to an arrival time of about 25 to 2, which is about 35 minutes away. Um, we're one nautical mile away from top descent now. Should start to descend any minute, and got a fair way to go yet. We've probably got about 120 miles to go, so we're going to reroute all the way around, all the way around there. And there we go. That we've started our descent. So we can turn the seatbelt sign on now, and the engine switch can go to continuous. And we are all ready to go. We will set up for the approach initially at around 10,000 feet, so that's the um, auto brakes and speed brakes. The 737 doesn't like to slow down, so we probably will need uh, some speed brake, but we're okay at the moment. Okay, so I'll probably just skip ahead in the video again to where we're uh, preparing for the arrival. Okay, so we're just passing 11,000 feet now, so we can go ahead and transfer the frequencies to the active. Double checking they're both the same. Auto brake goes to spoilers can armed, landing lights on, runway turn off lights on, and wing lights on. Engine mass switches are to continuous, and we're right on the uh, the right speed for 10,000 to 10,000 feet, and it's just gone down to. 40 knots now. Um, we're about 40 miles, 40, 50 miles away now. Start to see um, France. The what river that is. Well, we're so there's Paris and the Vey is just around here. There's us from Manchester. So we've literally gone like that. Um, so it looks like we will not need the speed brake for our approach because it seems to be deselling quite well. And if you look on the ND here, 5,000 or below here, and we're I reset the MCP altitude to 5,000, we're dead on there. So also I found out that it's 359 feet elevation, so 350 to the nearest 50, and then we set our minimums all the way to three, uh, to 500, sorry. 550, all roundabouts there. Yeah, as close as possible. 
There we go, 550 is our minimum, so that gives us a 200 feet minimum. Um, oh, there we go, some visibility seems to have improved. We're just approaching Mashio now, or is that a D? Or no, oh, I don't know. Or we're just approaching that waypoint now. Okay, so we've just captured the glide slope now. We're just turning on to final. It's runway 1-2. Can't see the airport yet. Should be off to this direction. My speed's looking good. Let's reset our MTP altitude now. And out of the turn, we could probably go flaps one. Bring the speed brake in there, and arm it, and we can go for flaps one and four landing lights. So we're fully centred now. The airport should just be over there. About 15 miles away. Selling now to Fox One. Do a manual approach. Because the, way it's, the weather's quite nice, so we don't need to do full ILS. Auto brakes are two as well. And we can level off for 4,000 feet. can go for flaps 5. And I see the airport. D cell to flaps 5 now. And we can turn the autopilot off and take manual control. And gear down, flaps 15. Slightly too high, well quite a lot high. Dive. All the lights are on. Five miles out now. And we can go for flaps. 30. Which will be our final. It's probably not a very good stable approach. But I'm not going to go around. Oh, speed brakes in. You can arm them. Low now, but we're okay. Five hundred. 
500 feet. Landing. One hundred feet. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. I'm landing. Full reverse. All the runway to stop. And there we go. Welcome to Paris. And you're breaking now. And we'll turn off here. Put all the flaps in. Auto brake can go, go off. Exterior lights. APU can go on. So if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like and in the comments, please put uh, future video uh, requests. Um, so I'm going to leave it here. All we're going to do is go back to the gate and switch the engines off, cut the fuel. So we'll just cut straight from that so thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video